Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Empower Physical Therapy and we have Dr. Anthony. He is with the Texas Cairo Health of Lakewood and I'm really excited for you guys to get to know him, hear his story. Um, he also, from um, what I've like heard, he has a lot of really cool like um, um, things that he does back, that he gives back to the community. So it's really cool. So I'm sure he'll show that as well. So tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, I, my health journey, I guess, started when I was really little. Um, the earliest thing I can remember, um, when I was moving out to Texas, actually, I went to my mother's house and I found a uh, piece that I wrote in like first grade. And it was how Chinese use plants as medicine. And it was like a little paragraph. So I was like, I don't even remember doing that, but there's <laughs> something in me from such a young age that I was always attracted to health. So, yeah. and I actually ended up going to undergrad for nutrition. And I thought I could heal like everybody just with nutrient deficiencies and with food. And then as I went through school, um, I had a chiropractor that helped with the soccer team that I grew up playing with in high school. And he started to encourage me. He's like, you still do nutrition, but he's like, learn more about the chiropractic. And when I started diving into that more, learning about the nervous system, uh, about the spine and every joint and how important it is to move on a daily basis. Um, and then I thought, well, if I can combine those two together, I could help even more people. And yeah. So I went on the journey. Um, I'm originally from Pennsylvania. So I did my undergrad at Westchester, Pennsylvania, where I got my nutrition certification, bachelor's of science out there. And then decided I had a buddy at the time living out here in Texas that was actually working at this clinic. So I actually joined this clinic, Texas Power Health in Lakewood. So I flew out here, I shadowed them, and then I realized how amazing these people were that had Texas Calorie Health. And we hit it off right away. And we started talking about Bruce Lipton, just the power of the mind to heal too, and then going into nutrition. And this company is all about how to eat, how to move, and how to think better. It's all three of those. It's not just adjustments. We're way into overall lifestyle and wellness. And I've just been so attracted to these guys and I'm so happy that I ended up here. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's amazing. Um, I, I mean, I had a similar, similar journey, although I think I was through PT school when I started having some health issues or about the same time I was going through PT school. And when I got out and I just got so frustrated with the whole medical system because I ended up having, um, I ended up having like a virus that was attacking me. I was super active growing up, like, you know, play college soccer, like play, was in sports from the age of two all the way up Com competitive yeah, soccer same. player. And, um, got into marathon training and just really abused my body. And by my late twenties, it was completely falling apart. Like yeah. I was completely exhausted and wiped out. I just thought it was, well, I've been in school for like 10 years. So I have like a lot of degrees because I just kept on like learning. And um, I was like, well, it's just, I'm not used to working. That's, that's what it is. Like you, we always have those excuses to make it exactly. okay. And, um, and the doctors don't help. You're like, you're fine. Your blood works fine. Exactly. No big deal. And, um, but I had this virus and it just kept on attacking me, producing like wow. cancer cells, taking pieces out of me. And I was like, I'm done. Like, I'm done with this. I am not going to do another surgery. I'm going to figure something else out. And that's when I started looking into diet. Um, cause one of my friends had talked to me who was a nutritionist. Um, she worked with uh, Dr. Cool. Pam Popper, um, and who's a big plant-based nutritionist. Um, and I started le like learning more about that. I'm like, holy cow. And yeah. like, I've got to figure out ways to integrate this because people are missing pieces of this. And then I just partnered with other people, not even in Texas, because I can't find a lot of healthcare providers. Yeah. Um, like there's a doctor I refer people to all the time. Like they laugh. They're like, oh, we know who referred you. You're from Texas. <laughs> and he's out of North Carolina. But he like okay. literally like will put people through like he's an naturopath that will like wholly completely clean up their gut and put them through programs. That's amazing. So yeah. Um, when I have people that have crazy autoimmune type stuff, and you can tell they're not they're not mechanical. They're not. There's no patterns. Like mechanics, you know, as you like has patterns. Like that everything yeah. has patterns when it's mechanical. But when it doesn't, and there's like there's no rhyme or reason, and you just start asking questions. You know, like are you getting bloated? Like yeah. how you know are you how, can you even eat healthy foods? And a lot of them yeah. can't like, they're like, I, no, I try to, I try to eat like green leafy stuff and it makes me sick. And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. because you're so, your gut is so bad. Yeah. So yeah, very similar story. So awesome. I love that. I love having I like, people that are similar. <laughs> I love it too. Yeah. I, I started playing sports when I was really little and yeah. I grew up hiking and going outside. I mean, I was outside yeah. all of the time, all the time. <laughs> shelters, camping. Yeah. And uh, that's one of my biggest passions as well. Yeah. Getting out into nature for sure.
Yeah. So I think you tell us a little bit about like why you got into your clinic and why you became a chiropractor. Is there anything else that you want to add, add from any of that? Like what you loved about it? Um, what I loved about this clinic in particular about chiropractor. Yeah, anything about and, chiropractor. Yeah, both, both. I mean, I honestly never got adjusted until I was in school. So mm-hmm. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And it's amazing the, I guess I don't want to say deficiencies or the things that you live with on a regular basis mm-hmm. that you end up thinking is just normal. Yep. And then once I started getting adjusted, I was like, oh my gosh, I can move so much better. Better, yeah. And then just um, even um, like like anxiety and stuff like that, that you can tend to hold in your stuff. That's where I tend to hold it. I hold it in my gut for some reason. Some people hold it up in their shoulders or other, other areas of the body. But for me, it always ended up being in my GI tract, right? Yeah. And then even getting adjustments like that. And then just learning, because um, I'm constantly looking at more research and stuff. That's yep. another thing I love about this company and just breath work and how the mind and the gut and the body are all connected. All of it. And mm-hmm. it just helped me settle a lot of those things too. So the chiropractic has really opened up my eyes to look in all different fields and yeah. not just have the tunnel vision of nutrition and food, which I originally had. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's one of the big things I've learned too, because sometimes you, you we, we go into one path and it's like, that's it. Like, that's the only path. And then all of a sudden, maybe something happens to you and you, and then, uh, and you start learning other things and then you become open to so many, so many different things that you never would have been there. Like, wow, that's amazing. Cause yeah. there's a lot of different ways of helping people, Absolutely. honestly. Um, and I think really it matters the person that you go to more than like, what they do because if you go to people that just constantly wanting to learn and figure things out and like no let's try this like no I have a person I think that can help like that they truly want to help you you're going to get better because they're amazing people yeah and And I love to teach yeah Yeah. I love to keep teaching and that hits another every Tuesday night at our uh, clinic at around 5 15 we do something called a special consult where we'll go over a piece of research whether it's like the importance of omega-3s or exercising the immune system I make everybody that comes green smoothies and I just teach them a little <laughs> bit more about health. And, just, um, you know, I just, I love to share and teach and we're always rotating different topics too. And yeah, I'm awesome. always putting content on our websites. I always put yeah. like five pieces. I go do a research review. I do a recipe. I do a smoothie. I think well, um, and it's all based off of research because everything yeah. we do, here, we're just looking for the closest thing to the truth because I just want the best for my patients. I want to get the yeah. best care possible. That I can. So it's awesome. So what's your typical client? What do you treat typically? What do you see in your office? What are some of the biggest complaints that you see? I mean, I will treat, I have babies that come in every mm-hmm. once in a while too. And then I have a 96 year old patient. So <laughs> I treat anybody. So even um, athletes come in sometimes as well. But honestly, I get just a lot of people that are working from home lately. Uh, most people are having so much tension in their shoulders, neck pain, headaches. I mean, I'll it's, it's weird. It comes in waves sometimes. So like, there'll be like a couple of weeks I get shoulder issues and then it'll be like a bunch of headaches in a row and then low back pain. But I mean, literally any joint in the body, if you have an issue or, um, I know headaches, low back pain are probably the most common ones, but I mean, we'll treat anything here and then I'll help with digestive orders. I'll give advice for that. I'll refer out if needed for other things too. But I really like to dive into overall lifestyle of what got mm-hmm. people in here in the first place. Yep. And then what we can do to not only get them out of pain, but to stay out of pain and stay healthy going forward as well. Yeah. Well, and, and it's lifestyle is so important. It's not even just from an eating perspective, but it's like, even like I always tell people too, like, it's also, um, what are you doing throughout the day repetitively that might be creating some of the issues that you're having? Like we've got to undo some of that or at least bring awareness around that so that you understand what you're doing. Cause everything comes down to lifestyle, everything yeah. that we do, and for the most part, are things that we're doing to ourselves that are creating some of the problems. Exactly. <laughs> and our job is to bring awareness around that so that they understand what they're doing so that they're like, oh, okay, I need to make adjustments on this so that I can not have these issues or not have them as often um, because sometimes life is, just gets in the way and it gets too busy and people don't, you know, just can't, can't do everything. Yeah. So, but then that's why we're here, you know, to help. Yep. One step at a time. <laughs> One right? step at a time. Yep. And- and that's why we, we do x-ray as well, uh, everybody that comes in. We actually do before and after x-rays, and it's mm-hmm. just amazing. We do functional tests too, but you'll see curves in the spine, and I'll be like, do you always sit like that? And they're like, what? They're like, what? Yes, I know, I yeah. Sit. 
And then throughout care, towards the end of care, they're like, yeah, I literally, I hear you when I'm driving down the road just to like fix my <laughs> posture or when I'm at the gym. And I was like, well, then I'm doing my job right. Yeah, if, exactly. Um, are, like you said, bringing awareness to those yep, issues. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what they want to do. And and honestly, that's one of the biggest problems of the healthcare system is that no one has time to sit down and actually have a conversation yep. to like give the education and really get down to kind of the, the source of what it is and what they might be doing. And that's um, and that's a problem. It's a problem. Yep. I agree. So what do clients love about what you do? Um, well, we always just, number one, I can be serious when there's a, like an issue and I want to address it, but we have a lot of fun here and we, we almost create a family toward, through yeah. care. I mean, I even give everybody my personal number. If they have questions or anything, they can text, call me. I'm more than happy to reach, uh, reach out to them and, and talk after hours and stuff like that. But we have something called a wall of wellness. So after people go through their acute care and they get feeling better, they're on the right track, they get to sign the wall of wellness saying that they're taking that their life into, you know, they're, they're taking more control of it again. They're focusing mm -hmm. on how they eat, move, and think. We always, uh, you know, give everybody a T-shirt that does it, and then we take the picture, and then we just create a, like, a whole culture and community in here. And yeah. that's one of the biggest things I hear is just they love our energy, and they can tell that we absolutely care about them, which, like you said, is pretty hard to find in the medical community now. So yeah. that's actually what yeah, I'm to totally. and, and care for you. So yep. that's the yep. thing we hear. And to be there to answer questions. I mean, we literally had a patient as a new patient that came in and she said um, that a long time ago after her surgery, horrible surgery, which she never would have had it. Um, yeah. we, we hear this all the time as a back surgery. And she was like freaking out because like they went to a place that wasn't really helping her for, from a therapy perspective, didn't go to a really good place. But she was calling the doctor, or the nurses, everyone, trying to just have a conversation about her surgery and why she was still hurting, and no one would sit down and have a conversation oh, with her. It wasn't okay. until she found another another facility. This is what, like seven years ago, that was like, we got you. Don't 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 worry about this. We're gonna get you back. Don't worry about the doctors. Let's let's get you here because she was scared. Because I mean, she was young, and they basically said you have degenerative disease, and I'm like. Yeah, and so like everyone else does. I mean, yeah, it's life. <laughs> it's life. I'm like, it's like, and you get wrinkles too. Yeah, that's yeah. part of aging. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's crazy. Like they don't even. I mean, like here, you know, just like your office, it's it's like people have access to us. Like that's why we do this, so that you have the education. And if there's a something doesn't feel quite right, we want you to call us. And we yeah. want to be able to have those conversations to be able to direct you and, and almost be that like first resource to really, you know, almost be like that family practice that yeah. the way family practice should be working on just really, truly getting them to people that can help them um, yeah. and not like w go through the system that doesn't. Exactly. Yeah. And like I always tell patients like anything related to health. I don't care if you like, you think it's nothing related to chiropractic, ask me if I don't know it, I'll do my best to research it for you yes, exactly. and then point you in the right direction as well. Yeah. And I always just say, be as open and honest about anything. Even if you're not liking your experience here, just be honest and yeah. tell me about it. And yeah. that's the, that's the biggest thing I want to um, create is just yeah. an open um, relationship like that. So. so what's one thing that separates you from other businesses? And I know like, I mean, when you hear some chiropractic places, which, um, are not any better than some of our healthcare places where they just go in five minutes, crack you and you're out. Yeah. I know that's definitely not your practice, which is what I love. Uh, <laughs> so what, yes. what are some other things that really separate you? Well, we are super thorough. Uh, I, 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 I want to say 99% of the time I don't adjust the first visit. All right. So I have people come in, I do a thorough exam, take a good history. We do a bunch of functional tests. It goes into something, uh, software that's called your spinal health assessment. And then we actually take x-rays too. And I want to make sure I know exactly from the inside out what is going on so I can get the patient to answer what, you know, how long it's going to take, what the problem is, and, you know, what we're going to do to help. And then I put a whole plan together and explain very thoroughly. And most people are just super impressed by like, the thoroughness and mm -hmm. how much that we actually, you know, care to find the, the, main, the main issue. And like you had mentioned before, any new patient that comes in, we work with local charities so we waive all of those fees and we do the x-rays for free, the whole exam. We do all the spinal health assessment, everything. If you just donate that $39 to a local charity. And that's one thing that really does separate us too. And yeah. we rotate those charities every single month. Because number one, we're trying to get people in here. No excuses. There's, I just read a research study. It's like average person waits 13 years that suffers from migraine to actually seek help. Seek, seek help. 
Donate 39 bucks. Come in and get the answers, right? Yes. It's that easy. So we try and make it no excuses for people to come in here that are suffering from something just so we can get them the best possible. Yeah. And everything we do here is based off of research. And then that even comes down to the care plan. We look at randomized controlled clinical trials. We look at essential nutrients that our most people are deficient in. Just because like I said before, we want the truth. And I don't want to give a bunch of things that I know aren't really backed by research because number mm-hmm. one, it might be wasting your money and it might not be the best thing for you too. So we try and be as cost effective and as effective as possible when we go through our care. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Um, is there anything else you would like to add that you haven't said anything about your clinic? I know you've, you've got a really good overview and um, definitely different than, I mean, your, your office is run similar to our office, um, which is yeah. what I, I love because it's really the time that you get to spend and yep. the more time you can spend with people, the, the better their outcomes are going to be because you're going to really get the full picture. Yeah. And well, you know about physical therapy, obviously, and that's all, all everything you do. But we do also a lot of uh, rehab and physical therapy. We do a lot of curve correction stuff, too, because mm-hmm. we have the adjustments and we send them right out there to start to stabilize and brace. Because if mm-hmm. you don't do PT, if you don't move, what's going to happen? Everything's going to start to shift back into your habits that got you in here in the first place. Yeah. So we're really about breaking those habits and um we always talk about Hilton's law too. Hilton's law is like the foundation of what movement is and why chiropractic care works so well. So are you familiar with that term? Have you heard Hilton's law? No, I haven't. Mm -mm. So Hilton's law. All right. It was (laughs) developed by this medical doctor back in like the 18, late 1800s, uh, John Hilton. He found it's a law just similar to the law of gravity. Every single joint needs to go through a full range of motion every day. If not, you get inflammation, which will lead to pain. And if something's stuck long enough, you'll actually get degeneration in the process. Yes. You'll actually start yes. to see that like candle wax melting. In your Very face. true. <laughs> but the craziest thing, so the same nerve that supplies, say, my finger joint also supplies all of the muscles, tendons, tissues, vessels, everything that cross that same joint, too. So if that joint's not functioning properly, everything else won't function properly. Yep. So it's like you put that finger in a cast for a couple months, take it off going to be discolored it's not going to move very well so it's making sure that you put all joints through for infection on a regular basis um make sure we stay healthy as possible because we sit like this all the time now all the time yeah cars. we're not out climbing trees and crawling yep. around you know putting yep. our body through a full range of motion so it's always just educating on that yeah it's, it's similar i don't i didn't i've never heard of that law but we really say very similar things because if yeah. if you like i always say you have to get the mobility first and um, before you can even get the stability. Because if you can't move, then nothing around the areas that are moving are going to, they don't function. Like you're just moving around it. So if you don't get the mobility back first and you can't look at just like, like the site, like, you know, you could have back pain, but it could be an issue in the hip that's creating it because the hip's not moving and the back is taking over. You could have it in the lower thoracic spine that could be creating some of the issues because it's all connected. Exactly. And it could be a combination of multiple things. So if you if you don't look at like the whole big picture, you're going to be missing the boat. Um, and that's, 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 that's I mean, it's we're on the we, same we page. We say the same thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So I always that's what I tell people. Like that's what that's what physical therapy this miss is. They miss the yeah. mobility piece because if you don't have that, it doesn't matter. You cannot start strengthening without having that back. Exactly. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, tell us where you're located so everyone knows, and um, we'll definitely make sure that it's in the comment section as well, your information, so people can find you. Awesome. So we are in Lakewood. We're on the corner of Mockingbird and Abrams. So uh, I don't know if there's a Tom Thumb in that shopping center. There's an Einstein bagel in there. We're right above the Einstein bagel on the second floor. Got it. Everybody seems to know where Einstein bagel is. So I know. I know where that is. Because that's the the dirtiest one that's out there. (laughs) (laughs) I swear to God. (laughs) I probably shouldn't put that out, out yeah. loud. I'm so sorry. But yeah. not, there also used to be like a, a yoga. Is that the yoga studio still up there? Uh, yeah, it's a Bikram yoga, hot yoga. Bikram, yeah, 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 yeah. They're up there too. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm so glad. And um, it was, this is, this is great. I, I love, I, I, I love, love your energy different... too. I just love it. I can feel it through the computer. I got to come meet you in person too sometimes. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But I just, I love meeting like-minded uh, healthcare providers because um, I feel like we have an uphill battle because there's not many of us out there that really um, will spend the time to figure things out. So it's it's just awesome to um, have people like you out there um, to Thank just you. help, help because we need it. Um, our medical system is going in the wrong direction and there's way too many surgeries that are happening. Okay. Um, I mean, this is not, not even from an orthopedic perspective, but even people that have like, 
health issues that don't even know how to take care of it, that so much can be done with like diet and, and diet. lifestyle changes that people don't even know about. Yep. So there's just Give so me much. goosebumps. You're yeah. getting me excited. God, it's not just <laughs> about just prescriptions. There's so much that you can do. I always tell people the body has an amazing ability to heal if we give it the right environment. And that's nutritionally and that's also with movement. So um, yep. having those two together, you're like in a fan- fantastic yep. area. And mentally too. Oh, mentally. If, oh my gosh, yeah. yes. We talk about it all the time with our patients. Okay. All yep. the time. I'm like, um, you know, just what we tell people. A lot of times we, we help because we can put you in control because we're going to teach you what you can do to help maintain things. Um, yep. And that helps them mentally because it's, it's the fear. Like they have that, the anxiety is the fear of them not knowing what the future is going to hold. They're not in control of it. So if yep. we can help them get in control of it, a lot of that goes away. But then there's also like, um, you can totally tell when someone has an emotional component that is creating some of their pain. And we have someone else too that does like cognitive behavior therapy oh, um, that can help people through some of that. And we've had to send people to her too. Cause I'm like, it's just beyond my scope. I, I yeah. can't help you. I know that you have this, but this goes way farther than this injury. It's something in your past that you need to you need to deal with because it's coming up as a orthopedic issue, but it's not. That's not yeah. yeah. So Very it's cool. all it all works together. I mean, it's it's you know you have to treat the whole person, and we don't do that anymore. I know that's why we're the <laughs> sickest country in the world, and we spend the most on healthcare. I know, nice. so crazy. I mean, especially on back pain alone, it is crazy how much we spend. Yeah. Crazy. Speaking to the choir. Yeah. <laughs> I love well, it. it was- it was great talking with you, and um, we'll put all of your information down below so people can find you. Awesome. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for taking the time to do this, and I'm excited to actually come meet you in person. Yeah. But you have a great rest of your day. Yes.